Well, good afternoon, everybody. Uh, it's great to see you. And this is a very special day because we have been waiting for months, in fact, even years uh, for this to happen. One of the things that I discovered when I became vicar in Bermondsey uh, eight years ago is that there's a tremendous memory of the joy slide. And I think I've scarcely taken a funeral without a family, someone in the family saying, we used to come to your church and we used to go on the joy slide. And then a whole load of people said, isn't it a shame that there's no longer a joy slide? And then we had this thought, well, perhaps there could be. Uh, there could be a joy slide again. And to cut a very long story short, there is a new joy slide for the 21st century um, here in Bermondsey, which children are already enjoying. <laughs> but in a few moments, the Mayor of Southwark, who's with us today, Mr Mayor, it's great to have you with us. The Mayor of Southwark will be officially opening it. And Jonathan Sedgwick, who's the acting archdeacon representing the bishop, will be praying a prayer of dedication. And after all of those things, there will be some children actually enjoying the slide. First, I want to say some very big thank yous. I want to say a special thank you to our patrons, those community-minded people who support so many things in Bermondsey and which have supported this particular project. That's Russell Dryden, John and Simon Dyer, and Gary Maygold. A very big thank you to our patrons. <laughs> Next, I want to say a very big thank you to the donors. Donors who have made small or large donations, community organisations, the local authority, members of the public who have contributed to this project and made it possible. A very big thank you to them. <laughs> Next, I want to say a very special thank you to Southwark Council. Um, people often criticise councils, but I want to say a big thank you to Southwark Council and particularly to the people who work for the Parks Department who have been involved in this project right from the beginning and as part of the Friends of St James's Churchyard have enabled this to happen. We're so appreciative of all they've done to make this project come into being, but also to maintain week by week this beautiful space of the churchyard, which is such a community resource for our local people. So thank you, Solid Council. There's one person who can't be here because he's quarantining, who has, in a sense, particularly made the project happen. And that is Adrian Greenwood, who is chair of the Friends of St James's Churchyard. And it's Adrian's administrative skill, his organisational ability, his sheer persistence, and his lifelong commitment to the people of this community of Bermondsey that has enabled this project to really get off the ground and come to fruition. So we're filming this partly in order to say, Adrian, where you are sitting at home in quarantine, thank you very much. Now there's a person literally without whom this project couldn't have occurred and that is the architect and the designer. Those of you who know the story of the church of the joy slide will know how Arthur Carr from Peak Freen's Biscuit Factory would come through the churchyard and see children sliding down on the granite slope by the steps and he had this idea this out-of-the-box idea to build a joy slide for children of Bermondsey here in the churchyard. And exactly a hundred years ago today, the great and the good of Bermondsey, including Arthur and including Ada Salter and her husband Arthur, gathered in this space for the opening of the first joy slide. 
When we had our community fund day to begin raising money for this project, <coughs> someone came up to us who we'd never met before and said, hi, I'm Fergus. I'm the great, great grandson of Arthur Carr and I'm an architect and I could design this project for you. And he has done with great skill and great creativity. And you know what? It's been a gift. It's been a gift from Fergus to the people of Bermondsey. And he's continued a tradition of generosity in his family towards the people of Bermondsey that has lasted for over a century. Isn't that wonderful? So Fergus, thank you so much for your creativity and your generosity to the people of our community. <clears throat> and Pat O'Connor, who is our church warden, would just like to give you just a very small gift uh, from St James's Church as a thank you to you for all that you've done and, and all that you've given. Thank you, Fergus. <clears throat> if you get a chance to look on Google and find today's Bermondsey Weekly message, you will hear me telling a little bit about this story. And one of the things that caught my imagination when I heard that there had been a slide in the churchyard was its name, the joy slide. I love the fact that children in the shadow of our church can come and play and have joy. Because isn't that a wonderful thing to give joy to the children in our community? And we believe in a God who loves everyone, who wants to bring his joy into people's lives. So it's so good that once again there's a joy slide in the churchyard. It's so good that that's come through the hard work of so many people in our community and the generosity of so many. And it's so good that the youngsters can come here and have joy. The parents can sit here and enjoy the planting and the local community can read the interpretation boards and hear a bit more of the very remarkable and significant history of Bermondsey as a place. So we thank God that that's, going to, that's happened and we thank God that we've got to this day now. I'm going to ask Jonathan to say a prayer of thanksgiving and dedication and then I'm going to invite the Mayor to cut the ribbons and to declare the joy slide open. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you for your boundless gifts of love and generosity in this place. We thank you for men and women, boys and girls who have enjoyed this slide in the past and for the great traditions of generosity and service in this place. And we thank you now for the gift of this joy slide. We thank you for those who've made it possible. We thank you for all those who will enjoy it. And we ask that it may stand for many years as a sign of your love and your presence and the joy that you would bring into all our hearts. So we ask that you would bless it now, bless each one of us, bless those who use it and enjoy it and play on it for many years to come. In the name of Jesus Christ, we pray. Amen. 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 Thank you, Jonathan. And now <clears throat> I'm going to ask the mayor to cut the ribbon. <laughs> oh yeah, let, let's, let, let, let's have the full works. <laughs> See if you're being historical. <laughs> I declare this joy slide open. <laughs> 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 
These are always the best, though. <laughs> hey. 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 And a few words for you, Mr. Lamb. Yeah. Um, I kind of, Gary has, has, has pretty much said it all, but what I really wanted to say was uh, this, this, this space here in St. James's, in St. James's Church, has always kind of seemed to me to be the real heart of Bermondsey. Um, I've lived all my life just across the other side of the Old Kent Road, so I kind of know, know it. I had never lived in Bermondsey, but know it. And, and I've always thought of this kind of place being really the heart. So it's a real honour for me uh, to be here today. And amongst so many esteemed people here, it, it's, it's a one absolutely, truly wonderful gathering. And there's so many stories around this. You know, there's the historical story around the beautification committee of the, the council in 1921 and the tulips that were planted and the, and the other greenery that was planted around to make Bermondsey a, a place where people can live and enjoy it. And those are themes that are very relevant uh, today. Um, but there's also this, this fantastic modern story about how this has been recreated. It, it, it's just almost like poetry that, that Fergus and, and Fergus's father is here today as well, have, have been able to contribute and, and bring something back that, that was so much the heart of this, this particular space here. So I am truly honoured and delighted to be part of this event today and thank you very much Gary for inviting me. Thank you very much for coming. Now, there's just one person I just want to mention. I know she's going to be very cross with me. Mavis, just put your hand up. Just hand up. Now, Mavis over here, okay, her mum was the lady who gave out the mats on the joy slide. Isn't that amazing? Because you used to come and get your mat. That was wonderful. Now, all that remains is for the children. Where is uh, James and Fergus and perhaps some others? Where are they? Would they like to come and have first go on the slide. Thank <laughs> you.